Did anyone tell me screen is visible? Okay. This day, sir. Okay, because the internet connection is very slow, uh, that's why the disturbances are there. Uh, uh, so I will explain what is mean by the uh, what is mean by these numbers. So these numbers indicates number one indicates if the number one is present in this circle, which indicates this that particle uh, plastic material is made up of with PET. PET it is a short form, long form is polyethylene terephthalate. It is uh, which is used in microwave food trays. Means uh, this uh, RIC code we will find on microwave food trays. Uh, then uh, soft drink bottles, uh, then water bottles uh, and uh, different uh, beer bottles which are uh, made up with plastic. Uh, then its status is it is very hard to clean, absorbs bacteria and flavors. So uh, avoid reusing, uh, avoid reusing uh, such type of material. Uh, is It is recycled to make uh, carpet furniture, then new containers and uh, the polar piece. So if this plastic material is recycled, which is used to make uh, carpet furniture, then uh, different type of containers and polar piece. Then uh, this uh, second one, this RIC code indicates HDP, HDP indicates it is a high density polythene means if you find this RIC code, which is present on that material, that material is made up of with high density polythene, which is uh, used in household cleaner and shampoo bottles. Means this RIC code we will find uh, on the shampoo bottles and then household cleaner uh, different bottles. Uh, means at the time of activity, what we have to do, we have to check the RIC codes on different materials. Uh, on sanitizer bottle also we will find uh, the code number four code number four means this this symbol this symbol we will find on the different sanitizer bottles uh, uh, for example in front of me there is one bottle sanitizer bottle uh, which is a uh, adley Adley, Adley London, this sanitizer bottle is in front of me and which is having such uh, this type of code, this type of code. So this type of code indicates uh, this bottle is made up of with LDP. LDP, it is a low density polythene. Uh, what is this uh, role of this uh, low density polythene, uh, which is explained in the uh, chapter polymers. So in this activity, what we have to do, different name of the practical uh, plastic materials uh, is given. For example, mineral water bottle. We have to check uh, any mineral water bottle and which RIC code is there. So that RIC code we have to write there uh, if it is one, two, three, four. So this RIC code, which is uh, number one, is, is present on the mineral water bottle. And we have to write the remark. In the remark column, it is written, uh, which is recyclable or not. So its answer is, it is a uh, recyclable. Then uh, second plastic material, it is given in the practical notebook. It is cell phones, transparent plastic back cover. We have to see the RIC code present on the cell phones. Uh, any uh, mobile phones transparent, we have to check the transparent black plastic back cover. If it is not available, leave that uh, material. Then next material is PVC pipe. If any PVC pipe is there nearby you, we have to check the RIC code present on the PVC pipe and we have to write that code and write the remark which is recyclable or not. This arrow indicates which is a recyclable. 
then fourth material it is given that is plastic beaker this plastic beakers uh, are available in the laboratory so if you came in the chemistry lab we have to check uh, this rc code on the plastic beaker then serial number 5 uh, fifth number plastic material is given that is a baby feedings bottle baby feedings bottle if it is available then we have to observe the rc code if it is not available leave it then next plastic plastic material it is given soft drink bottles if any soft drink bottle is there nearby you we have to observe the entire uh, plastic material carefully uh, from all sides from top top bottom then uh, all the sides we have to observe that plastic material carefully we will find that triangle we will find this triangle any kind of triangle uh, means this triangle with a number this numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so these numbers we have to write there uh, in that table if the number 6 is present if the number 6 is present means that plastic material which is present with this polystyrene this polystyrene this is a uh, rc code then uh, plastic container any plastic container if it is present in your home or nearby you uh, we have to write that rc code and write the remark in the column recyclable or not so this activity requires only 5 to 10 minutes or only 2 minutes we have to only observe that rc code and also we have to write the mcqs given on the next page what is this symbol what is this symbol of these 1 2 3 arrows uh, these questions are given in the next page the following symbol indicates means uh, such type of symbol is given and the question is asked the following symbol indicates what so this symbol indicates it is a universal recycling symbol then second mcq it is asked on it the rc code on the cafeteria tray is uh, so we have to check this uh, rc code on the cafeteria tray which is uh, present in your home or not which is uh, prepared with melamine material actually which is prepared with melamine that cafeteria tray is prepared with melamine so symbols are given 1 3 4 and 6 so one is not possible because one is Uh, polyethylene terephthalate three is pvc it is also not possible then uh, number 4 number 4 c uh, number 4 is a low density polyethylene which is used in bread and shopping bags carpet clothing furniture so four is also not possible then number 6 i am coming to number 6 option number 6 indicates it is polystyrene uh, then disposable cups plates see this is plates then egg cartons then take out containers take out containers uh, what means uh, uh, the parcel food which is given on that containers this polystyrene this six number uh, rc code which is present so uh, on the cafeteria tray number 6 is present then next question is if rc code on the plastic material is 7 then which type of material will be there if the rc code on the plastic material is 7 then which type of plastic which type of material will be there options are given uh, poly uh, lactic acid then polyethylene terephthalate then number c is high density polyethylene and uh, last one is low density polythene so number 7 number 7 indicates what polylactic acid yes so the answer is polylactic acid in that uh, practical book in that uh, practical book number 1 2 3 4 7 is also given so we can check 
the because this is a theoretical part which is given in the chapter green chemistry and the practical is given in the practical uh, theory is also given and in that theory again these numbers are explained in detail so next question i want to ask the ric code present on the mineral bottle is dot dot the rc code present on the mineral bottle is dot dot uh, this is a polyethylene terephthalate remember all the mineral bottles and soft drink bottles contains this rc code number 1 which is polyethylene terephthalate so this practical activity we have to complete today Uh, it is very easy practical and one mark question can be asked on it on the board exam remember that's why it is included in this syllabus this is totally new in the old syllabus it was not not there what was the purpose for development of rc the purpose was uh, it is developed by the plastic industry for the labors to separate out means for the sorting purpose and for the recycling purpose these rc codes are created so i think uh, this activity you you understand this activity then i am coming to the next part now the screen is visible anyone tell me yes sir so this is the first chapter of organic chemistry chapter number 10 that is halogen derivatives this is a chapter of organic chemistry halogen derivatives the name of the chapter is also changed in the previous syllabus in the old syllabus the name of the chapter was halogen derivatives of alkanes only halogen derivatives of alkanes uh, was there in the old syllabus but in the new syllabus the name is changed the name is halogen derivatives remember uh means these halogen derivatives of alkanes then alkenes then arenes so different types of halogen derivatives are uh, introduced in this chapter uh, which is having this weightage five marks and with option it is seven marks mean out of out of 70 uh, it is having the weightage of five marks and out of 98 means your entire paper will be 98 marks so we if, if you prepare this chapter carefully you will get seven marks seven marks for theory and for the practical if your practical skill is good if you got 30 out of 30 marks in the practical and 
plus this seven marks, we will get thirty-seven marks. So, if you chapter, if you prepared one chapter carefully, you will be passed in the board exam. So, this is very easy process to pass in the board examination, but it is very difficult to get eighty uh, marks, seventy marks in the theory examination. But it is very easy for the passing. These are the some questions uh, which are asked in the previous board exams are given. After finishing this chapter, we can solve, or you can discuss with these questions. It is not always necessary to write each and every question. You can just discuss. What is this? Uh, for example, I will read this one question. Write a note on words reaction, and mention any two uses of iodo form. see this uh, uh, this is a old syllabus actually this march 2008 in the march 2008 it is asked for three marks means this write a note on word reaction uh this one is for two marks and mention two uses of iodo form it is one mark means each use having half mark so these two uses we have to write down and write a note on word reaction if you know the words reaction it is not resist, uh, not necessary to write it again only you have to check it mala he question eto ka nahi he fakt bagat jayche put then uh, what is the next question with the help of energy profile diagram explain the mechanism of alkaline hydrolysis of bromomethane now this energy profile diagram is deleted from the syllabus so this question will be not asked means this energy profile diagram this part is deleted from this syllabus this energy profile diagram is not included in this syllabus so uh, forget about this energy profile diagram they can ask this question explain the mechanism of alkaline hydrolysis of bromomethane means we have to uh, mechanism means uh, we have to show the how the nucleophile attacks on the reactant i think this question such type of question it is also asked in your online examination uh, then uh, define uh, the optical activity explain the optical activity of 2 chloro butane uh, this question it is asked for two times march 2008 october 2008 for four marks means uh, for the definition Uh, of optical activity it is one mark and explain the optical activity it is for three marks then next question is state and explain the markonikov's rule with suitable example uh, it is asked in october 2008 uh, actually this markonikov's rule is included in the in the 11th uh, standard syllabus so this question will be not asked in the 12th standard but in the old syllabus it was included in the um, 12th standard but now this markonikov's rule which is not given in the syllabus of 12th standard so this question will be not asked for the board exam define a symmetric carbon atom or it is a symmetric carbon atom also called as chiral carbon atom uh, this question is very very important this question is very very important remember this can be asked for one mark already it is asked for uh, uh, 2000 11 ani 2008 it chukun don print jale lakshat gya so 2008 and 2011 uh, this question is asked for one mark then what is the action of following reagents on ethyl chloride instead of ethyl chloride they can give ethyl bromide they can give ethyl iodide or they can give the any type of instead of ethyl they can give methyl instead of this ethyl they can give propyl so general reaction remember this is rx r and x this is ethyl means any r group ethyl methyl propyl butyl pentyl iso neo so this will be the r and instead of this chloride they can give bromide also they can give iodide also so we have to remember this is rx so what is the action of following reagent on this rx on rx means 
alkyl halides. First one is KOH is given. See, means we have to write the reaction of uh, ethyl chloride plus KOH. Anyone can tell me the product. What will be the product? Aqueous KOH. This is a uh, SN2 reaction. Anyone can tell me what will be the product? What is the reaction of this ethyl chloride with this aqueous? Ethanol. KOH? Very good. Kuni sangitle he mala. Ethanol and KCl. Very good. Kuni manon ni sangitle ka? Kunal. Kunal. Very good. So uh, we have to write the byproduct also. Remember. We have to write the byproducts also. Uh, so the uh, answer will be uh, this chlorine will be removed. This chloride will be substituted by the OH. So ethyl alcohol plus this chlorine will combine with this hydrogen, ethyl alcohol plus SCL. Then what is the action of this ethyl chloride with alcoholic KCN? Alcoholic KCN, uh, AgCN and KCN is different. Anyone can tell me uh, in one reaction isocyanide is formed and in one reaction cyanide is formed. So KCN gives what? Cyanide or isocyanide? Yes, tell me fast. KCN gives cyanide or alcohol. Uh, sorry, KCN gives cyanide or isocyanide. Anyone? KCN and AGCN, what is the difference? Cyanide. Cyanide, very, very good. And AGCN, what is it? Iso. Isocyanide. Lakshat, what is the confusion? I don't know if you have any questions. Then, what is the action of ethyl chloride on silver acetate? What will be the product? This is ester. Silver acetate is ester. So reaction of ester always gives esters. Acha person ester me ester lakshad gya. Je ha silver acetate madla Ag substitute will. And Ag will combine with this Cl. AgCl will be formed, and this ethyl will be combined with this acetate. So. Uh, Ethyl acetate will be the product. Then next question, Kaidila, explain the mechanism of alkaline hydrolysis of tertiary butyl bromide with energy profile diagram. Remember this energy profile diagram, now it will be not asked for the board exam, but they can ask this question. Explain the mechanism of alkaline hydrolysis of tertiary butyl bromide. But uh, as our... Uh, uh, Chemistry question framing team indicates we, uh, we are not using this word alkaline hydrolysis. Alkaline hydrolysis, this word will not be used. Instead of this alkaline hydrolysis, the question will be asked like this Explain SN1 mechanism. Simply explain SN1 mechanism or what is the action of aqueous KOH on tertiary butyl bromide. Such type of easy questions will be asked to you. Means as per the directions given by the HSC board, don't ask tricky questions to the students. Already the students are in, um, you know, students are preparing for the different competitive exams and don't give too much uh, pressure for this HSC board exam. So read the question carefully. Sometimes the question will be tricky, but 95% uh, questions will be straightforward questions, remember. 95% question in the question paper will be straightforward. There will be no any tricky questions. Those questions will be prepared for us. We will be prepared for alkaline hydrolysis. Alkaline hydrolysis is the question of the syllabus. Hey, Baga, 
it is asking 2009 and 2010 uh, now after 2013 uh, such type of words will be not used tyachamule june question paper sodavtana apla navin syllabus lakshat gyaycha hai jari सिलेबस बदललेला जरी असला तरी क्वेश्चन पेपरचा जो फॉर्मॅट असतो किंवा फ्रेमिंगचं जास्त क्वेश्चन फ्रेमिंगचा जो प्रकार असतो तो सेम असतो म्हणजे यातले बरेच क्वेश्चन तुम्हाला येऊ शकतात बघा मी तुम्हाला सांगते यातले सेम टू सेम बरेच क्वेश्चन बोर्डाला येऊ शकतात हे वर्ड्स खूप महत्वाचे देन ऑप्टिकल ऍक्टिव्हिटी हे खूप महत्वाचे व सिमेट्रिक कार्बन ऍटम खूप महत्वाचे ह्या रिॲक्शन्स याला आपण वेगवेगळ्या रिॲक्शन विचारू शकतो रिॲक्शन विथ Uh, instead of this koh i will use uh, uh, this uh, moist koh sorry uh, aqueous koh instead of uh, that i will ask uh, agoh that is uh, silver hydroxide agoh so the product is the same actually then uh, next question is asked give the structural formula and iupac name of isobutyl bromide uh, for one mark so such type of same question will be asked for the examination give the structural formula and iupac name of isobutyl bromide so you must know what is mean by this iso group isobutyl bromide isobutyl bromide means uh, how many carbon atom are there anyone can tell me in this isobutyl how many carbon atoms are there four very good so iso group means what what is mean by iso anyone iso means what two iso ch3 groups on second carbon two three two ch3 or one ch3 one 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 don't get confused between iso and new iso means only one ch3 is there on the second carbon and new means two ch3 groups are present on the second carbon so first will be ch3 then c ch3 c don carbon dale then second carbon will be ch3 ha uh, teen carbon dale then we have to write ch2 and br so this will be the structure of isobutyl bromide and then we have to write the iupac name so what will be the iupac name its structure will be ch3 c ch3 ch2 br so what will be the name draw the structure on your notebook there if any notebook is present draw the structure of isobutyl bromide ch3 then uh, one bromo two methyl uh, propane one bromo one bromo two methyl propane barobar correct so this will be the iupac name of this isobutyl bromide instead of isobutyl bromide they can use they can ask the different then say draw the energy profile diagram of sn2 reaction and explain the following terms now this uh, transition state uh, then heat of reaction this is uh, deleted this entire part is deleted so this question will be not asked for the board exam because energy profile diagrams uh, part it is not included in the syllabus syllabus madun he kadun taklele tyachamule ha prashna tumhala vicharnar nahi lakshat gya then complete the following reaction and identify a b c and d with correct formula now if your reactions are cleared means your reaction mechanism part is clear then we can solve this question this is question this question is for four marks je okay? uh, four products we have to write down a b c and d each having one mark uh, here uh, ch c2h5 br is given means this is a ethyl bromide 
say this reaction with Ag2O and H2O. Yes, what will be the product? What will be the product? This A, tell me, anyone? Moist silver oxide in presence of, sorry, silver oxide in presence of water, that is called as moist silver oxide, which gives AgOH. What is the reaction of AgOH with C2H5Br? So AgBr will be removed and we will get C2H5OH. So A will be ethyl alcohol. Ethyl alcohol, uh, it is prepared in the A. This ethyl alcohol reacts with pyridine and this SOCl2. SOCl2 is thionyl chloride. So OH will be replaced with Cl. So B will be C2H5Cl. Here we will get C2H5Cl ethyl chloride. This ethyl chloride again reacts with C2H5ONA. That is sodium ethoxide or methoxide. Anyone can tell me this is C2H5. Forget about this 2 and 5. Forget about this 2 and 5. They can type it. 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 But what is the name of this compound? Tell me. C2H5ONA. Anyone can tell me. What is the name? Sodium ethoxide. Sodium ethoxide, it is the name of this compound. So C2H5Cl is prepared here. Uh, the B product is C2H5Cl because this is a thionyl chloride. Here A, uh, ethyl alcohol. Ethyl alcohol reacts with SOCl2. We will get here C2H5Cl. So this C2H5Cl reacts with this uh, C2H5ONA. So this Na will be removed, NaCl. And we will get ether here. This is Williamson synthesis. Remember, Williamson synthesis kai the reaction with the ethoxide or methoxide or any alkoxide, any sodium alkoxide reacts with uh, alkyl halide and they give ethers. So the product will be C2H5O C2H5 diethyl ether ether there will then. C products will be the ethyl ether and its reaction with cold HI gives C. Ethamidyl C2H5OH and ethamidyl A product I will C2H5OH middle and A product with the chimeral cone. What will be the D product? C product sang it like me. C product will be ether C2H5O C2H5 diethyl ether. What is the reaction of diethyl ether with cold HI? One product is given here. C2H5OH is given. Alcohol is given. What will be the other? Anyone can tell me fast because only iodine is uh, removed here. Iodine is removed here. C2H5. Barber, anitomalamel, ethyl iodide ether. D will be ethyl iodide. C2H5I. So, how many of the four marks are the question? Asa, you should know that. Malla, baga, lakshad gya. Four marks are the question. Ha, you should know. Echa madhe veg vegreya. Chapter se reaction hai. This one is from halogen derivative. This one is from halogen derivative. This one is also from halogen derivative. But this C reaction is from alcohol, phenols, and ethers. Means you should have the knowledge of all this. Uh, reaction then uh, question number 11 is given why does para nitro chlorobenzene undergo displacement reaction readily with the attack of nucleophile OH minus ion this question is asked for uh, March 2013 two marks so read the question carefully why does para nitro chlorobenzene we have to draw the structure first we have to draw the structure of this para nitro chlorobenzene so draw the benzene first uh, para position means one four position at the para position no2 group is there and cl will be para nitro chlorobenzene 
means uh, NO2 and Cl will be at 1,4 position. 1,4 position. And then, what is the question? Why does para nitro chlorobenzene? Why does sorry? Why does para nitro chlorobenzene undergo displaced reaction readily with attack of nucleophile OH minus ion? Yes, anyone can tell me. Anyone can tell me what will be the answer of this question? I will give you a hint. NO2 group is uh, NO2 group is electron withdrawing group. NO2 group is electron withdrawing group and NH2 group is electron donating group. So plus R and minus R effect, you know, plus R and minus R effect. This is minus R, electron donating resonance. Oh, sorry, electron withdrawing resonance and plus R means electron donating resonance. That is NH2. NH2 gives plus R resonance and NO2 gives uh, minus R means it will withdraw the electron from the benzene ring. So Cl will be very, that chlorine will be easily removed. So we can attack the OH minus nucleophile can attack and uh, the chlorine will be removed easily because of uh, electron withdrawing resonance effect. Then next question is given, right balance chemical equation for the action of phosphorus trichloride that is a PCL3 on propane to all. Uh, it's a chlorine milto, means alkyl chloride milto lakshad gya javasun. Then uh, hydrogen bromide on styrene. This is a very important question. Hydrogen bromide on styrene means styrene, you should know the structure of styrene, which is given in the chapter polymer, that is benzene ring. Uh, then CH double bond. CH2 plus HBr, Br minus H plus this Br minus negative, negative part of the reagent will be attached to the carbon atom which contains less number of hydrogens. So this will be, this reaction is the Markovnikov's rule, remember. Markovnikov's rule, but here it is given in presence of peroxide. You have to read this question carefully. Hydrogen bromide on styrene in presence of peroxide. So, in presence of peroxide, uh, it is anti Markovnikov's rule. So, the negative part of this uh, reagent bromine will be attached to the carbon atom, which contains more number of hydrogen. So, product will be benzene ring CH2, CH2. Br. This will be the product. The same question can be asked for the exam. What is the action of hydrogen bromide on styrene? They will not give this in presence of peroxide. Then this reaction will take place according to the Markovnikov's rule. This question is a uh, depends uh, this question is application based questions means if you understand the Markovnikov's rule they, then and then we can solve this question so this is application based question then next one next one what is the uh, write the balance chemical equation of methyl bromide on methyl bromide on silver propanoate. You should know the structure of this silver propanoate. First, we have to write down this methyl bromide. Yes, anyone can tell me the product of this reaction. Methyl bromide, right? Methyl bromide plus CH3Br plus CH3Br plus silver. Silver means uh, we have to write Ag first. Ag, then 
propanoate. Propanoate means uh, this is ester. How to identify it is ester because it ends with ATE, propanoate. Three carbons are there. Means we have to write O, then C double bond O. AgO, C double bond O, CH3, CH2. So what will be the product? This uh, Br and Ag will be removed. And we will get CH3, O, CO, CH2, CH3. So what is the name of this ester? Oxygen attached to, uh, sorry, the alkyl group attached to the oxygen we have to take first. So it will be methyl propanoid. Its answer will be methyl propanoid because this silver and this bromide will be removed. Then explain optical activity of lactic acid. Uh, draw neat labeled uh, this uh, is related. The energy profile diagram will be not asked for the examination because it is removed from the syllabus. This one. Draw the neat labeled uh, energy profile diagram. Actually, the time is over. I will stop here.